on this problem. It's kind of wordy. There's a lot of stuff going on, but we get to apply our modeling skills to draw a diagram so that we can find the solution to this situation. So here we go. The players and coaches on the Smithfield football team used five identical buses to travel to their game versus Broomfield. Now we are given a bunch of information here in four bullet points, which we'll come back to in a minute. But we also want to take note that the question is asking us to find out how many coaches traveled on the buses with the football team. So in order to find out how many of these coaches travel with the team, let's ask ourselves how can we model this scenario? If we can create a diagram and put our thinking on paper, then we can better understand what's going on here and better find a solution. So let's start out with what we already know, and that is that we have five identical school buses. Let's envision those five buses. Now our first bullet point said that there were 40 seats on each bus. We also know that all of the seats on four of the buses were filled. So four of the buses are totally packed with no room for anybody. So we know that those four buses not only have 40 seats, but 40 passengers as well. Now that fifth bus is a different story. That bus is only three-fifths full. So out of those 40 seats, we want to know what is three-fifths of 40. And we can take a shortcut to doing this. We know that one-fifth of 40 is just 8, since 40 divided by 5 is 8. And we know that two-fifths of 40 would be two-eighths, or 16. So therefore, three-fifths of 40 would be three-eighths, or 8 times 3, which is 24. So out of those 40 seats, 24 of them are filled, so the fifth bus has 24 passengers. And now our final bullet point says that one-eighth of all passengers on the buses were coaches. And remember, that's what we had to find out. So to find out how many passengers there were in total, we have to add all those values up. So the sum of all the passengers on the five buses is equal to 184. So that's a combination of players and coaches. Now remember that one-eighth of all the passengers of the 184 were coaches. So we have to ask ourselves, what is one-eighth of 184? Now to do that, we can just divide 184 by 8, and our quotient will be 23. So we can conclude that of the 184 passengers, 23 of them were coaches, and the rest of them were players. And that's it for that one. So that was a little bit tricky setting it up, but once we set up the model, it was much easier to solve. So just keep in mind, in all future problems, draw a diagram, try to get your thinking and your thoughts onto paper. It makes a big difference.